I'm Dr. Heather Silberto. I'm one of the dermatologists. It's very good to have you with us. Thank you. Yeah. Nice to be here. Yeah. Well, and I know today, it sounds like you were going to come in because we're going to be working on this spot. Have you noticed any changes in that spot since I had seen you last? No. No changes. Okay, good. And I wanted to just review too to make sure you haven't had any health history changes since we had seen you last. And so I'm going to pull up on our clipboard everything that we have listed previously. Have you started or stopped any of your medications? No. Nope. Okay. No and I have listed no known drug allergies. Is that still the case? Correct. No known allergies. Perfect. And otherwise, for, for active um, health issues, we have down here just these things here. Any other changes to that? No changes. Uh -uh. Perfect. Okay. Well, Andy, so today, as we discussed, we're, we're going to be working on taking that spot out. Mm -hmm. And you can feel with this spot under the skin, it feels like either a lipoma or an angiolipoma is what we would expect. And since it's been sore, we're going to be removing that spot today. And so one of the first things that we want to do, since this is under the surface of the skin, is we always mark out where that spot is located at, so that that way when we go to put the numbing medicine there, once the numbing is there, you can't really feel where that spot is anymore. And so we want that spot to be marked before we put any of the lidocaine there, so that that way we know where that spot is. Indeed. Sounds reasonable. Yeah. And then the other thing that we like to look at before we put the lidocaine there is that we like to make sure that we know which way the natural skin orientation lines go. So the natural skin tension lines, you can see if we if we kind of squeeze on the skin here, you can see the natural skin tension lines run in a diagonal direction. And so when we go to numb this up and then make an incision over here, we want the incision to follow those natural skin tension lines. And so the way that we will orient our incision to take the spot out is in, in that diagonal direction there. And when we take the spot out, because it's this little lesion is occupying space under there, we will need to put in some stitches under the surface of the skin. The subcutaneous stitches, they will absorb on their own, but then we do need to put a couple of stitches on the top of the skin to line up that epidermis there. And the epidermal stitches, those will need to come out in about a two week time period. Okay, perfect. Perfect. And I'm gonna pull up our consent form to do this excision today. Mm -hmm. Any time that we are going to make an incision in the skin, the risks are that there could be loss of blood, mm -hmm. there's a risk of infection, there's a possibility that you could have a reaction to that local numbing medicine, and it's possible that because we're going to make an incision in the skin, that that area of skin could feel numb or have a lack of sensation in the future. And then whenever we make an incision in the skin, there's always a possibility of a scar forming there. Okay. And so that would be our trade-off, is that taking this spot out, we would have to trade that for having a scar there. And so those would be the risks of doing the procedure if you would like to proceed with this today. Yes, I want to proceed. Okay. And that all makes perfect sense. Perfect. Okay. And Andy, and I just want to double check. I know we were going through your allergies, but you've never had any reactions to lidocaine with epinephrine as far as you know? Correct. No known reactions. Perfect. Yeah. And also, we're going to be using a cautery machine today to stop any oozing after we take that spot out. Do you have any history of having a pacemaker or defibrillator? No. Perfect.